something had changed, something had moved. Uh, you would get your rock magazine and people would be writing about Blondie. So we would get the first kind of inklings of that and the Ramones. Um, the Sex Pistols obviously made a big impression. I made friends with a guy named Dave Reeves, uh, who now goes by W. David Reeves. And he was half German on his mother's side and British on his father's side, one of those weird post-war marriages. And, um, and he would go to Europe every summer. And he would spend part of his summer in England and part of his summer in Germany and then he would come back. And he came back with things like Kraftwerk, and he came back with stuff like Gen X and the, the early punk bands out of, uh, out of London. And we would then sit in his, in his mom's rec room and smoke oil until we were nearly blind stoned and listen to all of these bizarre things that didn't make sense, that weren't culturally normative. Klaus Noni and, uh, and the German techno art scene stuff and then the, the new wave and the punk stuff out of, out of England and it was so different, it was so odd and um, so Dave Reeves had been a, a formative influence and, uh, and an ally in misbehavior and consumption of, of cannabinoid products um, and a brilliant, brilliant artist in his own right and together we started out doing Neo Mortra because oh my god that was pretentious and uh, we were the new dead man um, and Neil Mortra's mission uh, was to to do soundtracks for German silent expressionist films that we had never even fucking seen. But they had awesome titles like Die Strasse, Narcos. And so we did all of, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and so it was pretty, pretty peculiar, pretty interesting stuff.